In this episode, we're going to talk about one of the biggest killers in the college recruiting process. Have you heard the expression, study long, study wrong? Well, I think that applies to recruiting and one of the biggest killers in the recruiting process is where parents take forever to make a decision on exactly what they want to do in the recruiting process. Now, I'm not talking about signing up with a recruiting service, but I'm talking about just taking action, making a decision. It's, it's a lot of things that must take place. And so why I put this on the parents is because they're the ones who influence their son or daughter's recruiting decisions to a certain degree. So they can have some kind of impact on what the student athlete is going to do or make the suggestions or they're going to talk about it as a family. So there's a lot that has to get done. Are you going to go to camp? What camps are you going to go to? Are you, you know, Division One player, Division Two player, junior college player, JUCO player? So what kind of college programs are you going to target? That's important. And if you target these programs, what is going to be the strategy you're going to use to target each and every one of those college coaches? Meaning, how are you going to reach them? Is it going to be by email? text message, phone call, social media, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? What are you going to send those coaches? And how are you going to build a relationship with those college coaches? So all of that takes time. So parents are sitting around thinking about the recruiting process and they're actually thinking about who could come in who can come in and save the day for them and fix it for them and do it for them with, so they don't have to do it. You know, it's like working on a, a car. You know, I don't know a whole lot about the car under the hood. I know where to put the gas. I know where the oil goes, the windshield washer fluid goes, and that's about it. So if there's something wrong with the car, I'm not going to wait for a couple of weeks or a couple of months to do something about it. I'm going to take it to an expert. I'm not going to take it to my friend around the corner who likes to work on cars. I'm going to take it to an expert. So I'm not going to wait. And so recruiting, you can't wait. You got to take action now. You know, so other than all of these other strategies, then there are things of academics that are hugely critical in recruiting. So, you know, having a good and a great GPA is important, but there's more that goes into it. So uh, back in the day when I was running uh, Root Woods Recruiting in the early 90s of my career, I had a lot of parents who just could not make a decision. And they just thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And, you know, so now I'm talking about getting them to sign up for Woods Recruiting. Because think about this, you've got a million athletes trying to get into a hundred college programs. That's kind of the size of it. And so for me, I was trying to get parents to, to sign up with me to go with Woods Recruiting. And so the challenge was just convincing them that this was the thing to do. But they wanted to think about it. And the longer they thought about it, that was valuable time, and days and weeks and all that being wasted. And I was trying to tell them, I said, that's not my rule to get you to sign up with me right now today. It's just the rules of recruiting. And the rules of recruiting suggest you're gonna need a lot of time. You know, you're gonna need 300, 600, maybe even 900 days to put towards recruiting. So that's about three years of, of, of school. We're talking the school year and the summer. So recruiting, recruiting does not stop. There is no off season in recruiting. I don't know if someone ever told you that there was, but there is not. Recruiting is year round. So sometimes parents will take forever to figure out what they wanna to do to the point where they have wasted 
three months, six months, nine months of valuable time. And so when that time is used up, you can't go back and, and pull out some more recruiting time and, and start all over. Once it's used up, it's gone. You can't get it back. So my message to parents is take action now, develop a strategy. You know, if you want to do it on your own, that's fine. But if it's too overwhelming, in most cases it is, then go with Woods Recruiting. Come with my recruiting service, sign up with us. We're going to put together a strategy. We're going to put together a plan. We're going to put together a strong target list of college programs, and then we're going to have a strategy in place that will get the student athlete exposure to college programs and ultimately recruited. And the most critical goal is placed in college on scholarship or a strong financial package. But what I want parents to know and to understand that the recruiting process, those days, that time, all of that is extremely, extremely valuable. It's the time. It's the time that you need to be concerned about. Okay, so there it is. So thanks for listening to this podcast episode. Feel free, feel free as always to debate this point, whether you agree with me, disagree with me, but leave your comment in the comment section below. I wanna hear what you think. So if you're listening to this on the blog, put this comment in the comment section below. If you're on YouTube, you can put comments there as well. So thanks for listening. I'm Al Woods of Woods Recruiting, and I'll talk to you again next time.